Hey, VCube 7 here. I've got a surprise for you. Today, I'm going to teach you how to solve one of the modern day mysteries. The Rubik's Cube, invented in 1980. This is one of the most modern day mysteries that everyone could not solve but for you I'm gonna teach you how to solve it let's get started well first I'm gonna have to teach you some notation this the side that faces you is the front side the side that on top is the front side the this side on the right is the is the right side the side on the left side is the left side the side on the on the downside is the downside the side on the back is the back side and so that's all all you need to do is know one more thing If you see, if you hear an I or an, or inverted, well, I will have some algorithms in the description over there to the right. If you see an I, it means to do the thing backwards. Like this is front and this is front inverted. This is up and this is up inverted. This is down, this is down inverted. This is right, this is right inverted. This is left, this is left inverted. This is back. This is back, this is back inverted. This is right this is right inverted this is left left inverted and so on so forth so now that you know the notation let's get started my best time I can solve this is one minute and fifty something seconds And that's my high score. That's my record. Here it is in the scrambled position, and you don't know what to do. And you need some help. Well, I'm going to teach you how to solve it. So, first, pick the side that, that you want to start on. I start on white. Now, take one of these edge pieces, and if it's flipped so white is facing towards you, then turn it to the side next to it, bring it up, then bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Just keep on doing that until you get the top cross. Oh, and yeah, if you have white facing down and the color facing towards you, match it up with its center, then put it right there. Now, find a corner that has white on it. Red white and green red white and green so it's under if it's facing down do right inverted d2 r d right inverted d 
D I R D. Now, here's one. Place it by word sent to ghosts, but if it faces for you, do a D prime then R I D R. That'll make it much faster. So again, my is facing down R I D two R D R I D I R. Then we have one with white facing down. Do that same thing. R I D two R D R I D I R. There, you have the whole white side. And you have, and you have Small, a T. Smaller. Now what you want to do is group these. So find an edge piece on the top layer that does not have yellow on it, like this one. Match it up with its center. Then you want to use one of two algorithms. Th there's okay. So this smaller. one is where you need to put it down in Smart. here and let me take out this one so and this one is Bigger. if it needs to go Bigger. down to the right Bigger. if it needs to go down from the right over, you, you do Bigger. this algorithm. U I F I U F. U R U I R I. Now I've placed it Small, in there. Smaller. If it goes from the front smaller. down, you do U R U I R I U I F I U F. Can you turn it down? And when you do smaller. that, you, when you do that, you should have finished smaller. these two bottom layers. Now, there'll be three things you'll get. You'll have you'll have four things you'll get. You'll have a dot, an L, Diego. a line, yeah. or The cross. Olivia. Wait, you want to get this cross. Turn it down some more. Mm. Now. Bigger. Now, if you have a dot, do it one mm. time. Bigger. Then you should get this L. Hold it so the L is in the upper left corner. Then do it again. F. Then, well, you do the algorithm. F. R. U. R. I. U. I. F. I. So let me get it to the dot so if you have the dot do the algorithm F R U R I U I F A F I one time F R U R I U I F I then you should get this L. Hold it so it's in the upper left corner. So it looks like this. Then do it again. Then you should get this line. Hold it so it's like this. Then do it again. F R U R I U I F I. And you should get the cross. Now, step, and you may notice that not all of these centers line up 